folks, welcome back to the plot. A bit windy today, so I hope it's not too uh, affecting the camera too much. Right at the end of May today, although you wouldn't think so, looking at the weather. Absolutely cold. Um, quick look at the plot, and I'll tell you what I'm going to do today. The wildlife area now really come into bloom, looking fantastic. I hope everything's okay where you guys are. And there we go, the wildlife pond's looking nice too. Right, quick update on what I'm going to do today. A few videos back, I, um, I showed you some corn um, that I'd sown twice and I'd, uh, I'd had to pot on. Um, and you'll see some of the later sown corn has caught up now with the uh, the earlier sown corn. So that's going to go in today. You can see that, that's a good 18 inches high now and it's difficult to tell the difference between the corn that was sown first and the ones that were sown slightly later. Probably just the stem size. Look at the stem there. You can see that one's a little bit later but they're coming well on now. Um, I'm also going to plant out today my leeks got my prize tiger leeks and my muscle bra leeks got to keep them labels in because there's absolutely no way you'd be able to tell the difference at this stage so I'll show you where everything's going so first I'll show you where the leeks are going so the leeks I came here last night and I marked out all the stations for the leeks and what I've done is I've used my dibber and I've created all the stations where the leaks are going to go. I'll show you what I use to do that. Right. I'll show you what I use to do that. Okay. Okay, that's my dibber. And that piece of tape you see at the top, <clears throat> that's the depth that I've um, that I've pushed it into the ground to. Now what you'll find is that shaft depth there that shaft there that you can see is when the leaks go in that'll be the amount of blanched or or white fleshy part of the leak will be the stuff that the, the start part of the shaft that sits in the ground so the send that sticks under the ground will will be blanched and be white and then everything above that line <clears throat> will be your, your green foliage and your leaf um, and depending on how deep you push it, um, that'll determine how much of the blanched white flesh you get. Um, also, if you look at the thickness of that, that will be the thickness of the leek when it's ready to harvest. Round about that. Because what you tend to do is, you create the hole, like that. You drop your leek straight in, and water it, and you, you try and keep that hole intact and then the leak itself will grow and expand uh, to fill the size of the hole and that's how you get a nice thick stemmed leak well that's the plan anyway so that's where the leaks are going and then over here is where my corn's going now corn is wind pollinated so you always want to plant them in blocks quite close together and on a day like today a breezy day when they are ready to pollinate it'd be ideal for them so I've marked out some of the stations here where the corn's going to go and I've got a block there of uh, what have I got? I've got one, two, three, four one, two, three, four so 16 stations there and that's where my corn's going to go as I say in block form almost like a grid um, and then in this area here, <coughs> that's where I'll put my pumpkins and also a couple of pumpkins over there um, and that's the three sisters method so we'll have corn or maize we'll have pumpkins and squashes as you can see there I've got a courgette or for you guys in North America a zucchini plant um, and then I've got my beans there and uh, as I say the pumpkins will spread throughout all of that area <coughs> and hopefully we'll get a decent crop so, that is the plan 
for this morning at least and then I'll see what else I can get on um, so I'll set the camera up and I'll show you how I'm going to do that um, so I'm going to crack on with that now so I'll see you in a minute right welcome back guys before I do my corn what I need to do is I need to split the leeks into individual plants as you can see they've all been sewn together but the best way of doing that is to soak them in water for a while in order to loosen up the soil around the roots and then you should be able to tease them apart so at this point it's important to and make sure I don't mix my leeks up these are my leek muscle breath so what I'll do is I'll throw the label in in the truck in the water and then try and separate these hopefully hopefully they'll come out in one group. oh yeah perfect there we go you see that you see how well developed the roots are there so I need to somehow pull all these apart and as I say the best way of doing that is to give them a good soaking in water so pop them in to see that so the whole of that root ball is now soaking in water and importantly I've got the label in with it so I'm hoping this one will do the same so these ones are my prize taker leaks again try and pull them out Lovely. again how well developed they are these have really come on great these the leaks this year so they're going to soak in there while I do my corn um, and then hopefully I'll come back and I should be able to tease them apart and, um, and then we'll plant them out into the ground and um, we'll see how that goes. So I'll set you up now and we'll, uh, we'll get the corn done. Right, that's it guys, all the corn's in now, um, as I say, planted in a block, in a grid system, we've got about 12 inches apart each way round, and um, as I said earlier with corn, it's wind pollinated, so keep them close together, and then hopefully the wind will do its job, and um, each of the plants will be pollinated, and um, then we'll get some nice corn cobs. What you can do if you have a very still period and not a lot of wind when the plants are trying to pollinate, you just brush, just brush your hand through them and you'll see the pollen just come out in a cloud um, and settle on all the other plants. So what I tend to do is in, in periods where there's not a lot of wind, um, I just give each plant a little brush and a little shake um, and that does, that does the job of the wind if the wind's not about, which isn't often around here because it's usually quite windy on the west coast of the UK. Um, so that's my corn in. 
now I'll go over and have a look at the leaks, see how they're doing and we'll see if we can separate them and we'll get the leaks in the ground. Welcome back guys. Right, the leaks have been soaking in the water now for half an hour, 40 minutes while I did my corn. So these are the leak muscle breaths. So hopefully now we should be able to tease these apart, tease the roots apart and then get them into the ground. So bit by bit, just got to try and break this up now. It probably needs to soak a little bit longer than this, but we'll see how we go. The root systems are so well developed that they obviously intertwine with each other. Makes it really difficult to pull them apart, especially if it's dry, so you, you do have to soak them. I probably could have done with soaking them a little bit longer, but we'll see. We'll see if we have any luck here. See that to start to come apart. Guess that this is a great viewing. Right, here we go. them. I'm really happy with them and they now they just pull apart as easy as that and as I say I'm really really happy with how they are. I'll probably trim these roots now before they go in the ground a little bit just so they're a little bit neater and easier to handle but as you can see They are looking really, really good. So I'll carry on teasing these apart, give my hands a wash, um, and I'll bring you back when um, when I'm ready to put them in the ground. So I'll see you in a minute. Welcome back. Right, I have here, as I said earlier, I think I said it earlier, I've got 70 stations for my leaks here. So 35 are going to be uh, muscle bread and 35 are going to be the prize taker variety. So I've split my muscle bread. I've got 35 here. Hope you can see them. So they're in really really good nick. So planting leaks really couldn't be easier. Simply a case of taking your leak You've already dipped your hole to a depth that you want. You simply drop your leak into the hole. Like so. As I said, I've got 35 I'm going to put in. So I'm going to put, there's, they're in rows of 10 that way and seven this way so what I'll do is there'll be I'll fill these three rows and then the first five dipped holes on that middle row will be um, the end of where my muscle breath finish and my prize taker starts so just simply drop them in the hole and then these guys when they grow they should flesh out to fill the size of your dipped hole I mean, it doesn't get any easier than that really, does it? I'm just going to drop these in now. Just these few. Just so I can show you. And then what I do then, is you want to just fill the hole with water, but which will allow some of the soil to drop in round the roots. Um, so the roots can take a hold and firm themselves in but you don't want the hole to collapse 
so don't do it when the soil's dry make sure we had a good downpour of rain yesterday so the dipped holes which it did last night the form has kept really really well um, but if you now flood it with your with your hose or with your watering can too much of the soil may well drop in you really want to keep the form of that hole so the best way to do it is rather than just watering the hole of the bed it's to water directly into the hole so what I do is I just take an old piece of hose hope you can see that an old piece of hose which I can then direct into the hole itself after all of them but they're right up the water will drop down eventually and um, it'll take down with it enough soil for to, to gather around the roots and then that will be enough for the leak to take these other few and then I'll bring you over and show you okay so I'll just take his off now And you can see how that looks. So each leak dropped in. You can just see the water level there. That will eventually seep down and um, take enough of the soil with it, but without collapsing the dibbed hole. Because if you collapse the dibbed hole, you're not going to get nice fat leak shafts. There we go. That water will seep down. Now what I'll do now, as I'll do that for the rest of them, as I say, I've got 35 musselbra here, and I'll do my 35 prize taker there, um, and then that leak bed will be done for the year. So I'll I'll get on with that now, and um, as I say, and then I'll I'll bring you back. So you go make yourself a cup of tea, and I'll be back in a minute. Hi right, guys, <coughs> welcome back. I think I went a bit mad with the leaks. These are all my spares. And they're my spares as well. So a lot of my, the other plot holders are gonna um, they're gonna get free leaks today. I've already sent some down to my um, plot neighbour Wendy. He needed some. So I'll just show you the bed now because that's fun. You see Dotty there having to sleep and keep him warm because even though it's the end of May in the UK really really not warm at all it's only about 10 11 degrees but it doesn't even feel like that because that wind has got a proper bite to it so right here we are over by the leak bed i'll just show you that so that's all done now all the leaks are in you can see there just as i showed you earlier how i do them so there's my leak muscle breath 35 that way and then we've got my leak prize taker 35 there so they're all in in their individual dipped holes watered um, I just hope the birds leave them alone now so that's me done for the day um, you've seen the leak bed I also did the corn today I'll show you that I haven't watered them yet I'll just take you over here. I'm going to water the corn. I've got 16 corn stalks there. I'm saying they're quite well on. So um, the rest of this bed here will be pumpkins and squashes. I think I've got another courgette to go in. I've got a courgette here that went in a couple of weeks ago and we're already starting to see some fruit. See that there? 
on the sump tucked away there so that's coming on well so I'm really happy now that bed's almost full um, we've got the corn the pumpkins will go in the courgettes are in the dwarf french beans are doing fine and then we've got our Kelvin and Wonder peas our Monge 2 and our early onward peas so this bed is almost full now and then on the frame we've got our climbing french beans they're called blue lake so they're all doing well as well they've all taken making their way up we've got a little bit of string here and there just to give them a helping hand but um yeah that bed's almost done now so i hope you've enjoyed today's video I hope that wind's okay, I really do need to get a muffler or some sort of um, microphone so I'm not just using the phone, uh, sorry I'm not just using the camera because um, I've got a feeling this wind's going to be impacting on the quality of the sound so I apologise for that now. Um, so yeah, all done video and now I'll get on with some of my other stuff um, and like I said I hope you've enjoyed the video and hopefully I'll, um, I'll see you soon. If you've enjoyed the video, please press like and subscribe and um, hopefully I'll do another one. Okay, all done now. See you soon. Bye for now.